All right, get in the car, it's time to go. Where are we going, Mom? Somewhere super fun. Oh yeah, I bet it's the water park or somewhere awesome. Oh, it's even more fun than that. Get in the car. No, no, back to school shopping. See, I told you it was more fun than a water park. Now what color folders do you want? I don't want any, I'm not going back to school. That's fine with me. I think McDonald's is hiring people your age now, so you can just work there the rest of your life. Does that sound good? <gasps> fine, I'll pick out stuff. But can I also pick out a toy to uh, reward myself? <sighs> Maybe, we'll see. Maybe means yes. <sighs> fine, I'm just gonna get him the ugliest folder possible. And I hope he gets made fun of because he deserves it. Oh, mom, can I get this? No, you're supposed to be back to school shopping. But you said I could maybe get one toy. Maybe means yes. <sighs> Fine. How much is it? Well, usually it's 40, but it's on sale today for $20. $20? That is an insane amount of money. Who carries around that kind of cash? I'm not buying that for you. Put it back. But mom, I really want it. It's literally half off. I don't care if it's 99.99999% off. I am not buying that for you. It's too expensive. Why don't you hide it somewhere and then when you have $20 to waste, you come back and get it. Fine, I'll hide it behind some stuff. But I'm going to be back for it when I have $20. Wow! Look at this! Mom, I just found this hidden behind all the other Lego sets. Can you buy it for me? It's only $20. Sure, Billy. $20 is so cheap. Yes! Thank you so much for bringing me to get the toy that I wanted, Grandma. When you told me that your mother wasn't going to buy you that toy, I almost started crying. So you find that toy and give it to me and I'll buy it for you. I hid it behind a bunch of other toys. So it should be right about... My gosh. It's not here anymore. <gasps> Someone stole it. Security! Security! No, it's fine. I really wanted it though. <laughs> Get anything you want. Anything. I mean it. But Grandma, the other toy's price was $20. I don't care what the price is. I just want to see a smile on my little grandson's face. Okay, well, this one's $200. <gasps> Fantastic. If that's what you really want, then let's go buy it. Okay. Hey, Billy, did you bring the Lego set that you're going to build tonight? I'm going to be building this. Where'd you get that? I got it from Target. It was hidden behind a bunch of other Lego sets. So I asked my mom to buy it for me because it was the last one. I hid that. I was gonna come back later and buy it. Oh, well, great job. Now you made it awkward. Can I have it? No, I don't think my mom would appreciate me just giving this away. I'll trade for it. I'll trade you this. Are you sure? Yeah, positive. I really want that Lego set. Here you go. I'm gonna leave now before you realize the mistake you just made. Hey cousin, can I play with you? Go away, I just made an awesome trade. I traded my giant Lego X-Wing for this. Wow, I didn't realize you were that dumb. What do you mean? That just seems like a really silly trade to me. But what do I know? Everyone says I'm a stupid idiot. Bye-bye. Billy, I changed my mind. Hey mom, uh, can you take me to Billy's house? He was just here. Why on earth would I drive you five minutes across town? Because I traded him a Lego set that was $200 for this. Get in the car now. Just don't be too hard on him, Mom. Billy's sensitive. I'm going to be very respectful to his mother. Bethany, open up the gosh darn door. Hello there. How are you doing on this wonderful evening? Do you realize what your son did? He is a criminal. Uh, criminal's a strong word. I do not want to over-exaggerate here, but he basically stole a Lego set from my innocent boy. A Lego set that cost $200. What? Billy, did you steal a Lego set? No. Give it back now. You can have it back now. <laughs> he didn't even ask for the other one back. Once again, I am the best mother of all time. Now let's go to Wendy's. <sighs> All right, what do you want to eat? I'll get you anything, as long as it's off the four for four menu. I don't think I want anything. We're celebrating here. I got you your Lego set back from your evil friend. 
I just feel bad, Mom. Billy didn't deserve to get yelled at. I think we should give this back to him. Fine! Just let me order Wendy's. Wendy's is my happy place. Not so fast! That Lego set! It belongs to me! Whoa, Billy, calm down! My mom thinks I'm a criminal and she's gonna send me to good boy camp and I lost a Lego set! So I snuck out of my house to get revenge. I'll talk to your mom and I was gonna give this back to you anyway. Oh, cool! Maybe we can share it. I get it on weekends and you get it on weekdays. How's that sound? Sounds good. You want some Wendy's? Yes! I guess I'm buying food for the curly haired boy too. I'm sorry, but since someone you know brought a lightsaber in here, you're banned from Wendy's. What? No! I'm banned from my happy place? Billy! Hey guys, do you want to go to a movie or something this weekend? Oh yeah, that sounds awesome. I'm free the entire weekend. Oh, I totally would go, guys, but I can't because I'm working. Evan, you weren't even part of this conversation, brother. I overheard the conversation, so I figured that meant I was a part of it. But it doesn't matter. I can't go to a stupid movie with you guys anyway. I'm working. You know what that's like, right? Oh, no, you don't. Because none of you have jobs. What you have is barely even a job. You get paid 25 cents an hour to stand in front of Dad's ice cream stand wearing a pig costume. Look at this! My unemployed brother thinks he knows what it's like to have a job. You don't! You don't know what it's like to work a 9 to 5 basically every single day. Oh, Evan. You don't work 9 to 5. And you only work one day every three weeks. What you have is not a job. It is a job, Dad. And I work very hard at it. One day, who knows? Maybe I'll be the CEO of the company. No, you're not going to be the CEO. Because I am. And you're my least favorite kid. Oh man, I am so excited to watch a movie, guys. What movie are we even watching, partner? I don't know. My mom just bought the cheapest ticket she could find. I just hope there's a lot of violence in it. Evan! 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 Shh! Stop saying my name! What are you doing here? I ditched work so I could come to the movie with you guys. But we didn't even want you here! You're supposed to be working today at Dad's ice cream shop wearing the pig costume! Dad's gonna kill you! Dad's never gonna know that I'm here. Evan! Dad, how did you find me here? I own this movie theater, and you're supposed to be at my other business selling ice cream in a pig costume. Dad, I'll wear the pig costume if it means you'll go a little bit easier on Evan. Absolutely not, Kevin. You're my favorite son, and you're much too sophisticated to put on that pig costume. Evan, put on the pig costume and let's go! Fine! I hope this movie is the worst movie of all time. So what movie do you think your mom bought us tickets for? I honestly have no idea, but my mom's super cheap, so knowing her, she probably bought us tickets to some bootleg movie. No, guys, my dad owns this movie theater. He wouldn't put on a cheap movie like that. Oh, well, we're gonna find out right now, because the movie's about to start! Teenage Mutant Ninja Snakes! Teenage Mutant Ninja Snakes! Snakes that slither around! Teenage Mutant Ninja Snakes?! I told you it was going to be a bootleg movie. Thirteen years ago, four snakes were covered in mysterious ooze. Their names were Ralph, Michael, Donald, and Leon. Now they're ninjas. How are they even ninjas? They're snakes. They just slither around. Hey, do you fellas want to go to my dad's ice cream stand instead of here? Oh yeah, Kevin. We can see your brother actually working. I really want to see him wearing that pig costume. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here before things get even more weird. Welcome to Piggly Wiggly's Ice Cream Palace. What's up, Evan? You look much better in a pig costume. Ugh! What are you guys doing here? I thought you were at a movie. The movie was a little weird, so we left. I want to see Piggly Wiggly dance! Make it happen! I'm not doing a dance for you! Evan, remember, the customer is always right. Now do your dance. They're not customers, Dad. They're my friends. And they're making me do dumb things for their entertainment. Do it or else I'll make you wear that costume every day of the year. Fine, I'll do my funny arm thing. <laughs> that was hilarious. Really? Yes, please do it again and I'll give this business a hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion dollars? That would make me the richest man on earth. Evan, congratulations. You're now my favorite son. <gasps> really, Dad? Really, Dad? Wow. What's up, Kevin and Evan? Howdy, partner. You like my dad's new mansion? I can't believe your dad can afford this. Yeah, he's 
the richest man in the world, and it's all because of me and my viral pig costume. <sighs> well, what do you think of this place? This is crazy. You guys were already rich. Now you're like the richest people in the world. I'm glad you like it, because we built you a room too. Really? I built a room for all of my son's friends. Dad, how many times did I tell you you didn't have to do that for us? I didn't do it for you, Kevin. I did it for my golden child. Oh, Dad, stop it. Kevin and I are equal, except I'm better. Evan, can you go put on the pig costume? Okay! I can't stand this lifestyle. Why would you ever want to leave this? This is great. It's nice, but my dad and my brother have turned into psychopaths. Dad! Dad, look, I'm in the pig costume! <laughs> yes! Yes! Hey, guys, would you like to go somewhere for dinner? I don't have any money. Don't worry about it. My dad is the richest man in the world. He's paying for your meal. I have a hundred trillion dollars. I'll buy whatever you want. Evan, just cause dad's the richest man in the world don't mean we have to spend all of his money every single day. Where are we going anyway? We're going somewhere extremely classy. Probably somewhere super expensive, like a steakhouse or something. Oh no, it's even better than that. Rainforest Cafe, AKA Heaven on Earth. Well, this is not what I had in mind. There's literally no possible way that you boys could spend over a hundred trillion dollars at this restaurant. Oh, I know, Dad. Welcome to Rainforest Cafe. What's your order? Oh, I'll just have this entire restaurant. Don't do that, Evan. Too late. I already signed the contract. So, how much did this restaurant cost anyway? Only 100 trillion dollars and one cent. Evan! Evan, what is wrong with you, man? Why would you spend a hundred trillion dollars of dad's money on a Rainforest Cafe restaurant? Didn't you think that sounded a little bit suspicious to you? How was I supposed to know that I had to negotiate for a lower price? That is the number one rule of business, Evan. Relax, dad. You're still a billionaire. A billionaire with a B, not a T. I'm basically poor now, like your friend. Wow. Thanks. You better find a way to make me this money back, Evan, or else I'm gonna disown you as my son. I'll just put on the pig costume and dance in front of your ice cream shop. That's how we made a hundred trillion dollars in the first place. I'll just do it again. Come to Piggly Wiggly's Ice Cream Palace for some amazing ice cream. We don't like you anymore. We like the penguin across the street better. Come one, come all to Penguin's Ice Cream Palooza. What the heck? Evan, I am officially disowning you as my son. No! Curse you, penguin! Hey, cousin, if I broke your Waco Millennium Falcon, would you be mad at me or no? Yes, I'd be very mad at you. Oh, okay. Yeah, he totally broke your Lego set, and I helped him do it. <laughs> Evan, what the heck are you doing here? My dad kicked me out of the house for no good reason. It was a very good reason, Evan. You spent a hundred trillion dollars of his money on a rainforest cafe. That's more than any person has ever spent in the history of the world. That rainforest cafe was beautiful. Listen, I need somewhere to stay. You can't stay here. Why not? Because my mom hates the people I hang out with, especially you. What is that turtle doing in my house? It's not a turtle, mom. It's a boy from my school. His name's Evan. His dad kicked him out of his house. Can you stay here? It's okay to say no. Absolutely not. Go stay somewhere else, you turtle. I stole my dad's wallet. I can pay you. You'll pay. I'm sure we can find somewhere for you to sleep. Are you still awake? Yes, Evan, I'm still awake. Can you believe that your mom is letting me sleep over your house? Well, this isn't really a sleepover. You're paying my mom so that you can stay in my house because you got kicked out of your dad's house. Do you want to pet my lizard? She should be around here somewhere. Evan, go to bed. It's three in the morning. I can't go to sleep without Raggedy Ann the third. Where is she? Ah! The Geico Gecko. Oh, I think she's in your mom's room. Do not go in my mom's room. Too late. Hello. What was this lizard doing in my bed? Oh, well, she likes people who smell a specific way. Hey, you must have the same smell as me. I want you and your lizard out of my house now. Uh-uh. Remember, I'm paying you with my dad's credit card. <sighs> Fine, you can stay. But I don't want to see this stupid thing ever again. Okay. Toodaloo. These past couple of days have been really fun, haven't they? Well, it's been torture for me. 
You know, I'm almost glad that my dad kicked me out of my house. Although I do miss my rich lifestyle that I had living there, here's a lot more quiet. Plus, I stole my dad's wallet so I can buy whatever I want anyway. Evan! Dad! You came back for me? I didn't come back for you. I came back for my wallet. Who is yelling in my house? <gasps> I didn't realize I was in the presence of a goddess. Thanks, but I'm basically taken by my son's other friend's dad. Trevor's dad doesn't like you, Mom, and he never will. Yes, he does! And in 10 to 20 years, we're gonna be married! Come on, Evan! I thought you kicked me out of the house! I'd rather you annoy me than this glorious woman. If you ever change your mind, you know where to find me. In the mansion at the top of the hill. I would never go out with someone like him. You realize he's a billionaire, right? I guess I'd reconsider. Okay, boys, have fun at your first day of school. We will, Auntie! I can't wait to start my first day of school! Wait, what? Why are you dropping him off at my school? I may or may not have lied about his age that he could go to the same school as you, but he's still like three years too young to go to school here. He's not gonna do well in class. I wasn't expecting much out of him anyway. Besides, he's not gonna be in your class. He's still a couple years too young. So I don't know why you're complaining anyway. He's gonna try sitting with me at lunch. They serve lunch here too? I bet the food is so good. School is amazing. You're gonna regret saying that. School is not fun. You're gonna wish you were still going to baby daycare. Cousin, look, it's Sally, the girl you have a crush on. Hey, Sally, my cousin has a crush on you. Do you have a little cousin that I can be boyfriend girlfriend with? <sighs> this is not gonna go well. Hey, cousin, can I sit in that empty seat with you? No, that's Kevin's seat. No, it's all right. I'll go sit at another table for today. Oh man, you made Kevin sit at another table. I just wanted to see how my cousin's first day went. Mine was great. Well, our teacher is super mean and he kicked out like half of the class. That's weird. My teacher's name is Mr. Williamson and he's super silly. He sang songs and we got to play at recess for like three hours today. Look, can you just go away? There's like a million kids around your age in this school. Go sit with them. You're making us look like dorks. Yo, dudes, check it out. It's little Johnny. Hey, little Johnny. Hi, little Johnny. Hi, guys. Whoa, you were just talking to the eighth graders. They're the coolest kids in school. How do you know all of them? I just asked them to be my friends and they said yes. Okay, I'll leave you alone now. No, don't leave. I want to be popular. Yo, dude, what the heck? Your cousin's popular now? He's friends with the eighth graders? What's up with that? Yeah, I guess. Why does it matter to you anyway, Trevor? Cuz, I'm supposed to be the most popular kid in school. I can't be outranked by some little kid. But you're not popular. Yes, I am. Where is that little kid? I want to talk some sense into him. Hey, cousin, guess what? I have a girlfriend now. Wow, good for you, I guess. I bet it's a baby. She probably has a crush on me anyway. What's her name? Her name is Sarah. Sarah? Is she in fourth grade or is she in eighth grade? Eighth grade, I think. Oh, <gasps> you're dating eighth grade, Sarah? <sighs> After school, you meet me right here. We're gonna tussle. Okay, I can't wait to cuddle. Wow, I'm making so many friends on the first day of school. All right, come on, pack up your things. We got to get out of here. Wait, cousin, we can't leave school yet. I have to say goodbye to all my friends. And Trevor said he wanted to meet me on the playground to cuddle. He didn't say cuddle, he said tussle. What does that mean? It means fight. That means I might get hurt. I know, that's why we got to get out of here. <laughs> hey, did you make little Johnny cry? No one messes with little Johnny. Yeah, no one. Oh my gosh, it's the eighth graders. No, I swear, I didn't make my little cousin cry. Trevor wants to beat my cousin up. That's why he's upset. Oh, don't you worry, little bro. We'll handle Trevor for you. <laughs> Thanks, eighth graders. You're my best friends. What's up, little kid? You ready for a beat down or what? Hi, Trevor. My eighth grade friends said they'll handle this for me. The eighth graders? Ow! Ow! I'm sorry, please! Hey, pass me the ball. I want to score a touchdown. You can't score a touchdown in basketball, Evan. But whatever. <laughs> nice. Hey, man, who threw that? Evan, you almost just hit the eighth graders. Did you throw that ball? Well, 
Yeah, but he passed the ball to me, so he's just as guilty. <sighs> Thanks a lot, Evan. You guys almost just hit little Johnny. Oh no, Eighth Graders, it's okay. That guy over there is my cousin. Yeah, yeah, I'm his cousin. Is he cool? Oh yeah, he's the coolest person on earth. If Johnny says you're cool, you're cool, bro. Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm friends with his cousin. That's enough out of you, turtle. Hey, everybody, you're all invited to my cousin and my house for a big party tonight. I don't know if that's a good idea. Hey, man, I understand that your cousin and I kind of started off on the wrong foot. You tried to beat him up, Trevor. Well, I've moved past that, and I hope he can too, because I really want to go to his party tonight. Everyone else is going except for me. Party? What party? Hey, I can't wait for your cousin's party tonight. I didn't realize it was already his birthday. What? Hey, cousin, I'm ready to go home. I have a very big birthday party tonight that I have to prepare for. You're throwing a birthday party tonight? Your birthday's in March. People have early birthday parties all the time. It's September. Plus, my mom is not gonna let you throw a party. Oh, cousin, I'm sure she's gonna be very understanding. It's my birthday for crying out loud. It's not your birthday. All right, boys, let's go. If I have to look at these smelly, sweaty kids one more second, I'm gonna scream. Oh, if they were in my house, I would literally punch a hole through the wall. So, did you tell my mom yet that you invited the entire school over to our house for your birthday party? I was actually hoping that you could talk to her cousin and then you could take the blame for me. No, I'm not gonna take the blame for you. Oh no, who could that be at this hour? You're in so much trouble. Hello? Hi! Why was Billy at my front door? Don't look at me, mom. Look at him. I don't even know what's going on! I'm not sure who to believe. Now who could that be? Hello? Howdy. We're here for the birthday party. What is all of this talk about a birthday party? He invited the entire school over for his birthday party. My birthday's in March. How could I have a party? Now who could that be? The nerd? Richard? Let's find out. Who is it now? Sup bro, we're the eighth graders. We're here for little Johnny's party. I see. Well, happy birthday. I can't believe we have Mr. Rollyworth as our teacher for another school year. Um, Mr. Rollyworth isn't allowed at our school anymore because he's mean to children. That's Mr. Jollyworth, a completely different guy. Ned, are you dumb? That's clearly Mr. Rollyworth wearing a hat and a wig as his disguise. Students, this will be the most miserable school year of your entire lives. And I personally cannot wait to see all of you cry. Now. Did anyone read the assigned 5,000 page book that I sent out this summer? I did! I read the book three times this summer! Quiet, nerd! You make me furious! <coughs> Sorry! Now, did anyone not read the book? <sighs> I didn't do the summer reading. Why not? Because I didn't want to? I like you, Richard. You're going to be my favorite student this year. Whatever. Richard, how do you get Mr. Rollyworth to like you so much? Please, Richard, tell us your secrets. Guys, why does it matter? I've never been disliked by a teacher in my entire life. None of this is real. We're not real. Life isn't real. Mr. Rollyworth isn't real, dude. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is I should pretend that I don't care and I should be super disrespectful to our teacher. That's not at all what I was saying, but whatever. All right, delinquents. Did any of you write the 15 page essay that I assigned? I did, but then I chewed it up and spit it in the trash can. How dare you speak back to me? Now, because of you, there will be no recess, no lunch, and no gym class. Aw, oh, man, Ned, seriously? I despise you, Ned. No, guys, think about it. This is good news. We're going to learn more. I mean, pfft, I don't care. I can't believe Mr. Rollyworth didn't let us go to recess or gym class. And lunch. Don't forget about lunch. How could we not eat lunch? We have the worst teacher in the world. Hey cousin, today was my favorite day of all time. That's great to hear. First, Mr. Williamson sang songs, and then we learned our ABCs, and then we learned how to color, 
And then we ate cupcakes. Cupcakes? Yeah. And then we ended the day with seven hours of recess. Where were you guys at recess anyway? We were in the classroom learning college level trigonometry. My brain cannot handle that sort of information. I felt my head start to explode. I wish you guys were in my class with me. Wait, that's a great idea. Guys, let's transfer to my cousin's class. But I'm a couple years below you guys. I don't care. I could use a refresher on my ABCs. I forget the letter that comes after Z. I'm so glad we transferred to this class with a nice teacher. Even though we might be a bit too old for this class, I would still take any teacher over Mr. Rollyworth. Look at how colorful this classroom is compared to our old one. I love it here. Mr. Williamson is the best teacher ever. <gasps> here he comes now. Hello, students. Who is excited to learn? <gasps> is that new students I see? That's my cousin and his friends, Mr. Williamson. They're a bit too old for this class, but they're still excited to learn. Well, as long as they're excited, that's all that matters. Why don't you boys tell Mrs. Puppet your name? Uh, <laughs> well, go ahead, cousin. Tell Mrs. Puppet your name. My name's... Ah-ah, uh -uh. don't tell me. Tell Mrs. Puppet. What's your name? I think we're too advanced for this class. I think you're right. Mrs. Puppet scares me. Go on, tell her. Well, here we go again. Another back to school night. I hate these things. Usually I only have to deal with one teacher, but this time I have to deal with two because you guys are in separate classrooms. Oh no, auntie. You don't have to worry about that. Cousin transfer to my classroom. What? I had to, Mom. My old teacher, Mr. Rollyworth, was a crazy person. He was so mean. Well, the good news is I only have to go to one classroom, I guess. I hope this teacher is very strict. Hello, parents. My name is Mr. Williamson. I am so excited to teach all of your students this year. My goal is to make sure that every child has a fun time. If they get questions right, they get a hug from Mrs. Puppet. But if they get questions wrong, they get a smack on the booty from Mr. Puppet. Oh, I am absolutely not keeping either of those boys in this classroom. Wow, cousin, I am so happy that your mom is making me take classes with you. Now you and me are going to be the same level of smartness. Yeah, right. This school year is going to be so fun. You're going to regret saying that. Mr. Rollyworth is extremely cruel to his students. <gasps> He's so cruel to his students? I can't wait to meet him. Hello, students. Stand up when I walk into the room. Why are you smiling? I have a strict no smiling policy in this classroom. I'm just so excited to meet my new teacher. You are not supposed to be happy here. Get out of my classroom. Okay, I'm gonna go tell the principal what a great teacher you are, Mr. Rollyworth. Ah, shh, shh. Don't say my real name. I'm not allowed to be at this school anymore. I got kicked out and arrested last year. Call me, uh, Mr. Jollyworth. Okay, Mr. Rollyworth. Oh dear. Hey Kevin, is your dad's private chef gonna make us food tonight? Yeah, I'm hungry. I think our private chef is on vacation, so we might actually have to go somewhere to eat. Ugh, I hate going out to eat. Everyone always looks at us because we order the most expensive things on the menu. Dad, Kevin and my friends wanna go somewhere to eat. <sighs> Evan, stop pretending they're your friends. All right, boys, where do you wanna eat? What about McDonald's? <laughs> We can't be seen in McDonald's. We're way too high class. I'm fine with McDonald's. McDonald's works for me. McDonald's it is then. Get in the Ferrari or the Lamborghini. I don't care. <laughs> Dad, McDonald's is for poor people. We can't be seen there. They have a dollar menu for crying out loud. Evan, stop your complaining, brother. You realize McDonald's has toys, right? Toys? I'm gonna get the most expensive one. Start up the Lamborghini. All right, kids, we're at McDonald's. Feel free to order whatever you want. My treat. It doesn't matter how expensive it is. Oh, well, the food's not too expensive here anyway. Well, we wouldn't know that because my family is rich and we don't eat at places like this. What's that supposed to mean, Evan? It means that this place is way below our family's wealth status, Kevin. I'm not eating here. Evan, just order your food. Fine. 
I'll have a steak, extra rare, with some light salt sprinkled on top and some butter. And throw in a sparkling water, cause what the heck, I'm not driving. We don't sell any of that stuff here. Uh, what do you guys even have here then? Get a Happy Meal, they're good. I'm not ordering a Happy Meal, Billy. It's probably disgusting and under $5. But they come with toys. I'll have a Happy Meal, but give me the rarest toy you guys have, okay? You can't pick your toy. That's pathetic! Oh man, I can't wait to see what toy I got in my Happy Meal. Yoda! Alright, cool. I was hoping for Darth Vader, because he's the super rare one. Huh, <laughs> that's cool, but it's not the rarest one of all time. What did you get, Kevin? I got C-3PO. Lame! Okay, let me see what I got. I bet it's Darth Vader. Job of the Hutt! Are you serious? Ugh! What did you get, Billy? I don't know. I was busy eating my chicken nuggets. I got Darth Vader. Whoa, Billy, that's awesome. That one's super rare. I want that. Billy, how much do you want for it? I'll trade you Job of the Hutt. I'll give you a thousand dollars. Eh, he's not for sale. Sorry, I want to keep him. That's ridiculous! My dad bought you that, so technically I own a part of it. Right, Dad? Nope. Whoa! Look at that! You open him up and there's Anakin inside! <sighs> Dad! I need that toy now! <sighs> I should have just taken them to Rainforest Cafe. Dad! We can't leave yet! I want the Happy Meal toy that Billy got! I don't want Job of the Hut! I don't care! It's like a $2 toy, Evan! You can survive! Evan, you already have like a million toys back at home. But I want the Darth Vader toy that Billy got! But I don't want to give you my Darth Vader toy. It's mine. I earned it. If Billy doesn't want to give you his Happy Meal toy, then he doesn't have to. Fine. Dad, if Billy's not going to give me his toy, then I want you to go back in there and get me another Happy Meal. If it'll shut you up, then fine. Hey, buddy, I need another Happy Meal. And please, put the Darth Vader toy in there. Sorry, sir. We're all out of the Darth Vader toys. Really? Well, what do you say to this? Oh, my. Don't worry, sir. I'll put in a good toy. Awesome. Thank you. Here, I bribed the guy. He said he gave you something good. Yes, yes, yes! No! Another job of the hut! What do you fellas want to do when we get back home? <sighs> we could play video games. <sighs> or we could play Nerf. <sighs> Evan, why are you being so annoying? Oh, huh. I'm actually surprised you guys could tell that I was upset. Oh, I'm just disappointed that I didn't get the Happy Meal toy that I wanted. Ahem, <clears throat> Dad. Evan, they were out of the Darth Vader toy. What did you want me to do? Oh, I don't know. Maybe go to another McDonald's? Oh, speaking of, there's one right out there. Dad, stop the car. Oh, you have five minutes. Go. I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. If I don't get the Darth Vader toy that I wanted, I'm not going to be that upset. What the heck? Jar Jar Binks! Oh well, we tried. Now get back in the car. No! I'm not leaving McDonald's until I get the toy that I wanted. Fine, I'm leaving you. Wait, no! Don't leave me! Kevin, I can't believe your dad just abandoned your brother at McDonald's. My dad does this to him every week. I should have just given him my Darth Vader Happy Meal toy. Evan needs to learn that toys ain't the most important thing in the world. Toys aren't the most important thing in the world. I mean, who really needs a Jar Jar Binks toy? Hey kid, do you want these dumb Happy Meal toys? Who? Me, sir? I've never had a toy before. I'm a poor orphan. Okay, that's enough out of you. Here you go. Well, now that I learned my lesson, it's time to walk home. <gasps> hey guys, I finally made it home. But don't worry, I learned my lesson. Here, Evan, you can have my Darth Vader toy. No, Billy, I'm over my Happy Meal toy phase. Just sell it on eBay. Well, okay, I could make some money, I guess. The Darth Vader toy is worth $10 on eBay, but the Jar Jar Binks toy is worth $500,000 because there was only one ever made. What? Evan, I can't believe you just gave away a Happy Meal toy that cost $500,000. I didn't realize it was worth that much at the time. I'm furious right now. Well, maybe you can get it back. I mean, who'd you give it to? I don't know, some random orphan who was walking by. Oh, that's very kind of you, Evan. I'm sure that that poor boy appreciates the toy that you gave him. And if he winds up selling it, I'm sure that money's gonna go a long way. I don't care! I want that toy in my collection! Back to McDonald's I go! He's never gonna learn. Hey! 
Hey, you! What did you do with that toy that I gave you? Oh, sir, thank you so much for your kind toy donation. Because of you, I'm now able to afford my own house because I sold the toy for $500,000. You sold it? To who? I assume you're looking for this? Seven, my arch nemesis. You have lost. <laughs> Evan, why did you feel the need to sprint all the way back to McDonald's? I wanted my Jar Jar Binks toy back, but my arch nemesis Seven already got his dirty hands on it. This will be a fine addition to my collection. Evan, what the heck are you going to do with the Jar Jar Binks toy? I'm going to put it on a shelf, Kevin, and then stare at it for years. You have a sad life, Evan. Seven, I challenge you. Shing! To a duel. No one carries around a toy sword other than you. Shing! I stand corrected. Ha, 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 ha. Sha, 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 sha. Someone call the police! And tell them what? Two weirdos are fighting with toy swords in front of a McDonald's? Oh, right. That is weird. Yeah! Ah! Finally, it's mine. <laughs> Give it back! Okay, stop crying. You can have it back. Jeez. Finally, what was once yours is now mine once again. Mom, can we go to the toy aisle? I haven't gotten a new toy in like days. We are not getting toys today. We are getting groceries and we are going home. Now, where are the grapes? Those little brats, they went to the toy aisle, didn't they? I don't have that, I don't have that, I don't have that. Wow, this is only a hundred dollars. That's a steal. Ahem, <clears throat> you are not getting anything, boys. Oh, hey, mom. We weren't expecting to get anything, right? I was, well, I was just browsing. I'm just looking at stuff, trying to get an idea of what I want for Christmas or my birthday. This one I don't have, it's pretty cool. <laughs> It'd be awesome if I had it today. My birthday is also coming up. It's in March, but I want toys now. I know what's going on here. You two boys are trying to team up against me. I feel betrayed and I feel unsafe. I'm getting out of here. All right, boys, help me load the groceries onto the conveyor belt. Hello, why aren't you helping? We just wanted a toy, Mom. All I asked for was a toy that cost $100. What's so wrong with that? Oh yeah, I'm a terrible mother because I didn't get you toys. You should be thankful that I brought you here in the first place. Oh, look at this, it's pink. I wear pink. I must be hip and happening. Is that Grandma? Grandma! Great. Oh, my grandchildren, it's so nice to see you. Why do you look so sad? Because my mom wouldn't buy us toys. Is that so? Mother, they don't need toys every five seconds. That is ridiculous. These children deserve whatever toys they want. Go to the toy aisle, boys. I'll buy you anything. Yes! Yay! Oh, I absolutely love my grandchildren. It feels good to be the favorite. <laughs> what the heck? Hi, Mom. Hi, Auntie. Well, look who's finally back from shopping with their grandma. Did you boys have fun? Oh, we had a wonderful time, didn't we, boys? Oh, yeah. Grandma's the best. Grandma is so much better than you, Auntie. Oh, pish posh. It's not a competition. I'm not any better than her. I just buy you better things. <laughs> <sighs> oh, boys, show her what I bought you today. Grandma got me this Nerf gun. It was only $20. Nice. I'm glad Grandma didn't spend that much on you. And Grandma got me this. It was the last one in the store, and it was only $250. <gasps> $250? Yes, but since it's an old Lego set, it's worth like $3,000 on the interwebs or something like that. <gasps> what? Okay, toodaloo, boys. Bye, Grandma. Oh, I can't wait to open this. Don't you dare open that. We are selling that online right now. We have a buyer. Someone bought your Lego set. Yes. Mom, why do we have to sell the Lego set that Grandma bought me? Because it's worth a lot of money. But this could be the last thing that Grandma ever buys me. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. Well, there's the buyer. Too late. I'll go let him in. Not to worry, I let myself in. Now, 
Hand over my new toy. Seriously, mom? You sold my Lego set to Evan? He has a lot of money, so I couldn't turn it down. I have lots of money, and I use it to buy things like this, so that they can sit on a shelf for years and years and years. Hmm, I might have made the wrong choice there. Grandma's gonna be so upset. I am so upset. Oh, mother. What are you doing here? I knew you couldn't resist selling the Lego set, so I waited outside until I saw the turtle leave with the toy that I bought for my grandson. Once again, you've proven that you are not fit to be a mother. Mom, I can't believe you sold the Lego set that Grandma bought me to Evan. I'm sorry, but he bought it for $3,000. I think that was worth it. No amount of money is worth seeing my grandson upset, you despicable woman. Now, you know where that boy lives, right? Yeah, he lives in the mansion on the hill. Then let's go get your Lego set back. Hello? Hello, turtle boy. Ha! Ah, Dad! An old lady's here! I think she's a witch! Hello? Are you the father of that turtle? Sadly, yes. Your son has my grandson's Lego set and he's being very disrespectful and won't give it back. He deserves a spank on the bottom. Evan, give him back his Lego set. But it costs $3,000. $3,000? Excuse me one second. Evan, give him back the Lego set now. Okay. Here, I don't even want it anymore. And I broke the seal, so it's not even worth anything. Grandma, thank you so much for helping me get my Lego set back from Evan. Oh, you're welcome, my grandson. I would do anything to put a smile on your face. It just upsets me that your mother would sell the Lego set in the first place. Oh, would you look at that? You got your Lego set back. And Evan didn't ask for a refund, so it's a win-win for all of us. Wipe that smile off of your face, young lady. You're not off the hook yet. Mother, I'm a grown adult. You can't boss me around. Oh, I can't. Oh. Grandma, it's okay. I think my mom learned her lesson. Besides, we got the Lego set back. That's all that matters. Now, let me open it up and build it. Oh my gosh. There's nothing in here. Oh. The turtle boy must have kept the pieces. Oh, the nerve of that boy. I say you march over there and get back what's yours. <laughs> this is all your fault, young lady. <laughs> get back here! Hey, Kevin. Oh, hey, partner. How's it going? I'm a bit mad because your brother gave me a Lego set that didn't have any Legos inside. It was just the box. <sighs> he does this all the time. He calls it the classic Evan switcheroo. Let's go get your Legos back. Evan? Don't bother me, Kevin. I'm very busy. Hello, Evan. Oh, hey! How are you enjoying that Lego set that I gave you out of the kindness of my heart? I know you still have the pieces. Where are they? Dang it! I didn't think you'd actually open it. Who does that? Give him back his Legos or else I'm gonna tell Dad. Yeah, I might have accidentally already sold the pieces. <laughs> what? They were worth $3,000. That's it. I'm telling Dad. No! Don't tell Dad! Fine. I'll take you to the Lego store and I'll buy you whatever you want. Whatever I want. I'm gonna get this stuff and this. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I was running a charity. Why don't you just get this too then? Oh, that's actually a great idea, thanks. It was a joke! All right, Evan, I got everything I want. Oh great, waste all of my money. Why don't you just buy the whole store at this point? Evan, you got yourself into this situation, partner. You sold his valuable Lego set behind his back. So you owe him big time. Yeah. I know, but I didn't think he would want this much stuff. Are you gonna pay for this for me or not? I am not going up there with you. I don't want to be seen with a poor person. Here, take this card. You pay for it. Okay. Here, Mr. Lego Man. I'd like to buy all this, please. That's my card, by the way. He's not actually that rich. Evan, be quiet. Congratulations! You are the one billionth customer! Wait, what? What?! You get to take home one free Lego set. This is awesome. No, that was my card. I'm actually the billionth customer, not him. I deserve a free Lego set. I think I'm going to get this. It's all yours since you're the person who pays. Sweet. The world hates me. Hey, fellas, did you guys do the homework last night? Boy, was that challenging, but it was the fun kind of challenging that I love. We had homework last night? I had no idea. <laughs> I didn't do the homework either. None of you guys did the homework? 
Oh man, Mr. Rollyworth is gonna be furious! Well, Mr. Rollyworth is an old man, so maybe he'll forget. He probably will. But Ned, you can't remind him, dude. Who, me? Yeah, Ned, for once, just be cool and don't mention the homework. <laughs> guys, come on! I'm cool! I'm not gonna bring it up, I promise. Hello, students! Let's not waste any time! I'm going to begin teaching now! Guys, I think he actually forgot! Ned, don't say anything. Ned? Mr. Rollyworth, you forgot to collect the homework! Ah, uh, yes! Everybody had in your homework now! If it weren't for the nerd, I would have totally forgot. You should probably hide from me at recess, Ned. All right, students, hand in your homework now. Uh, I didn't do the homework. I didn't do it either. Me neither. None of you did the homework that I assigned? I did the homework, Mr. Rollyworth. Quiet, nerd! Well, since none of you did the homework, it's time for a pop quiz. Oh man. It's 100 pages. You have 10 minutes to complete it, and it's worth 50% of your grade. <laughs> Good luck. Oh geez, this is so easy. Hmm. Hey! Mr. Rollyworth, Richard's cheating off of me! Excellent job using your resources, Richard. Ooh, I guess I can cheat off of him, too. Mr. Rollyworth, now Trevor's cheating off of me, too! I'm just using my resources, bro. Trevor! Get out of my classroom, now! Dang it! Thank goodness justice was finally served. You get out of my classroom, too, nerd. No one likes a tattletale. <gasps> no! Ah! Hide me! Hide me! Ned, what's wrong? Trevor and Richard want to beat me up, and I have no idea why! Well, it's probably because you told on them for cheating off of you. Yeah, and you reminded our teacher about the homework he forgot to collect. What? That's ridiculous! That can't be the reason! I just want everyone to be a stellar student just like me! Ned, come over here, man. It's time for your beatdown. Oh yeah, Richard and I are totally gonna beat you up, dude. Ha! I got in trouble for cheating off of you. <laughs> like, I really deserve that. Uh, fellas, maybe we can work this out. I could do your homework for a week, or perhaps a month. Oh, that actually sounds awesome. Oh no, it's too late for that. You made me mad. Oh yeah, right Richard, it's way too late for that. <laughs> Don't hurt me! <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. Whoa. Holy guacamole! Did I do that? Wow, Ned, I can't believe you actually punched Richard and Trevor. They're the two toughest guys in school. How did you do it? Oh, well, I didn't mean to hit them that hard. I was just trying to defend myself. Well, it doesn't really matter if you meant to. You still hit them. You're the most popular guy in school now. <laughs> Who, me? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I'm not popular. Hey, Ned. The 8th graders said they want you to sit with them at lunchtime today. <gasps> the 8th graders? They know my name? Hey Ned, good news. Sally doesn't have a crush on me anymore. She has a crush on you. Sally has a crush on me? Well, maybe I am popular. Correction, Ned. We're the most popular because I'm your best friend. <laughs> you wouldn't abandon me. Right? Sorry, Evan. I don't think the 8th graders really want to sit near you, but I'll tell them that you smell better than you look. I hate to lie, though. Well, I feel betrayed. All right, fellas. You guys take it easy. And hey, let's not do our homework tonight, because that's not fun. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just said that. I must really be turning cool. I hate that Ned is popular now. Come on, Evan, can't you just let Ned enjoy being popular for once? Well, he shouldn't be popular without me. We're best friends for crying out loud. Hey, Richard. What do you want, Turtle Boy? Uh, Ned said he could beat you up. What? Hey, Ned. Oh, uh, Richard, hi. You seriously think you can hit me again, man? Is that what you're telling everybody? Um, no. Come on, Ned, hit him. Yeah, you're cool. Okay, fellas. I'm cool, Richard. I'm sorry. I have to hit you. All right. Now I'm actually going to hit you. Hard. <laughs> um, I'm starting to think Ned actually isn't kill. Everything is going according to plan. Now Ned will come crawling back to me. 
Hey, eighth graders, am I gonna sit at your lunch table again today? Sorry, you're not cool anymore. That spot's for little Johnny. Yay! Oh, man. Oh, hey, Ned. What's wrong, sweetheart? The popular kids don't think I'm cool anymore. They don't want to hang out with me. Do you know who would never do something like that to you? This guy. You're right, Evan. You would never betray me like that. Evan, you're literally the one who told Richard to beat Ned up. Shh, get out of here! Is that true? Well, it's not not true. I don't want to have to do this, Evan, but I will. Oh, please. You being popular was the worst thing to ever happen to you. You're right! Being popular was so hard. The popular kids don't do their homework. How do they even have fun? I know, Ned. And because you like doing your homework so much, I'm gonna let you do mine for a week. Yes! That's why you're my best friend. <gasps> Cousin, look, I found a box on the front step. Oh, give me that. My birthday's in a week. I bet it's one of my birthday presents. Or maybe it's a present for my birthday. Your birthday's in March. Well, it's never too early to start shopping for the people you love. What do you think's in there? I don't know. It could be literally anything. Maybe it's Legos. No, it's not making any noise when I shake it. Oh, let me try. Yeah, there's no Legos in here. Well, I hope it wasn't breakable because you probably just destroyed it. Maybe I can sneak a peek in there. Excuse me, boys. What are you doing with that package? Oh, hey, mom. We were just uh, making sure this package was safe. What's in there? None of your business, that's what. Don't you ever, ever stick your noses in my stuff again. This is very personal. Oh, it's definitely my birthday present. Cousin, cousin. What? I found the box. It was hidden. She hid the box. I knew it had my birthday present in there. Where is it? In her closet. Come on, let's go. Yes, here it is, cousin. And look, it was opened. Let me see. It definitely has my birthday present in here. I'm just gonna sneak a quick peek. Oh my gosh. What is it? A puppy? A car? It's a picture. Of her family? That's so nice. Of Trevor's dad. Ah! Boys, I'm home. Where are you? We gotta hide. Ugh! Where are those boys? Oh, hello, Trevor's dad. Hey, honey, how was work? Oh, work was tough as usual, but at least I get to come home and see you. Ha ha ha! Hey, would you like to go to Applebee's? Applebee's? You do realize you're talking to a picture, right? Ah! What are you doing in here? Why are you in my closet? I'm sorry, Auntie. Cousin and I just wanted to see what was in the box that you hid from us. Your cousin's in here? Oops. Great. Thanks for ratting me out. I'm sorry. Sometimes I just like to tattletale. I can't help myself. You boys are not allowed in my room. You're in serious, serious trouble. Well, we just wanted to see what was in this box. Why does it matter what was in the box? I thought it would be my birthday present. <laughs> Your birthday present? Why would I order that? Because my birthday's in a week. What? Oh man, I forgot all about that. Well, you're not getting a present now that you snooped around. Why would you order a picture of Trevor's dad? I didn't order this. Trevor's dad probably sent it to me. It says on the box that it was sent from our address to our address, which means you sent this to yourself. Go to your room now. You've got problems. I can't believe my mom grounded us just for going in her closet. She must have been embarrassed about that picture she had of Trevor's dad. Oh, she definitely was. Imagine if Trevor's dad ever found out about that picture. Well, he's gonna find out very soon because I took your mom's phone and I texted him to come over. You did what? I figured he might want to see the cool picture that she made. <gasps> That's probably him. Oh my gosh. Who was knocking on my door? It's me, woman. <gasps> Trevor's dad. Hello, what are you doing here? You texted me and said you had something to show me. What? No, I don't have anything to show you. Show him this picture that you made. Put that away. A picture? Let me see. I love looking at pictures, especially when they're colorful. 
I'll show you. Huh. Good God, woman. What the heck is wrong with you? <sighs> wow, I think he really liked it. Hey, Trevor. Don't you dare show him what I think you're about to show him. Oh, I'm gonna show him, cousin. Tch, what do you want, little kid? My cousin's mom made this beautiful picture of your dad, and he didn't like it. So could you tell your dad that he doesn't appreciate real art? <laughs> Dude, your mom is so weird. She's gonna be forever alone, man. <laughs> hey, partner, don't take that too personal. My dad really likes your mom. Maybe they could go on a date sometime. That's a great idea. Have your dad pick up my mom tonight. Hey mom, I got you a date for tonight. Wait, what? With who? Kevin and Evan's dad. Ah, uh, no, I don't want to go on a date with him. Well, it's kind of too late. He's already here. Hello. You ready for our date? We're going to Applebee's. Applebee's? I heard it's your favorite and you can get whatever you want because I'm paying. You'll pay? You're my dream man. Let's go. <laughs> hey, Kevin, I found this package on your front doorstep. I figured I'd just bring it in. Hmm, I have no idea what this could be. Ah, yes, 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 it's here, it's here. That's mine. Get your dirty hands off of it. Well, what is it? It's a gift for my online girlfriend, Patricia. Evan, how many times do I have to tell you? Patricia ain't a real person. You're talking to a bot. She is very real, and she is very beautiful, Kevin. Oh my gosh, what did you get for your girlfriend? A pair of sweatpants that say, I love my boyfriend. I gotta try these on. Evan, you don't have to try those on. I think we get the idea. Look at these. They are so soft, so cozy, and so comfortable. Patricia is gonna love these. Dad is gonna kill you, Evan. Why would you waste his hard-earned money on buying pants for a girl that don't even exist? It's not a waste of money, Kevin. Shing! It's true love. Ah! Oh, shucks. Ah! Get back here, Kevin! How dare you insult Patricia! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys, calm down. Evan, why are you trying to hit Kevin with a toy sword? Because my idiot brother thinks my online girlfriend isn't real. She isn't real, Evan, and you're wasting dad's money on gifts for someone who doesn't even exist. Oh, okay, so you think these sweatpants are a waste? How are you gonna send them to her? Do you know where she lives? No, she just says she lives far away. Do you know what she looks like? No, but I'm sure she's beautiful. Have you ever even heard her voice? No. Evan, you don't know where she lives, you've never seen her face, and you've never heard her voice. Think about it. Hmm. Oh my gosh, guys, the love of my life isn't real. I got scammed. Evan, it's fine, brother. We can get through this. I know you're going through heartbreak right now. How much money did you send, Patricia? Only $100,000. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're gonna be in serious trouble, Evan. Kevin, please don't make me do this. Evan, we've already gone over this, partner. You have to tell dad. You sent $100,000 to some random person online. I think that's a big deal. Shut up, you. I don't even know why you're still here. Hey, kids, how's it going? Oh, uh, hi, dad. Back so soon. Hey, dad, Evan has something he wants to say to you. Hmm, no, I got nothing. All right, see ya. Evan, you have to tell your dad. Ugh, fine. I got scammed, Dad, and I sent $100,000 to some random person online. You did what? I'm sorry, Dad. I thought it was my online girlfriend. I even bought her these sweatpants. Oh, well, since you were in love, Evan, I guess I can let it slide. What? What? I, too, am in love with someone. Who do you love, Mr. Kevin and Evan's dad? Your mom. What? Wow, that's cool, partner. We could be brothers. Oh, yeah, that could be awesome. And we could be brothers too. Oh no. Mom, are you really dating Kevin and Evan's dad? <laughs> Please, we are not dating. We are just two adults who went to Applebee's together. Okay, good, because I did not want Evan to be my stepbrother. Yeah, but I mean, you like Kevin, so he would be a cool brother, right? I thought you said you weren't dating him. I'm not dating him. I mean, maybe I like him more than some other adults, but we're not dating. Auntie, you have a boyfriend? Well, I am not calling him uncle. Cut it out! We are not boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, my boyfriend's here. Yay! 
Hey fellas, how's it going? You guys wanna go on a little day trip with me? It'll be just us guys. No. Uh-uh. Boys, you should really start spending some time with your stepdad. I mean, Kevin and Evan's dad. What the heck? Remember kids, I'm rich. We could go to Target if you want. Ooh, Target, let's go. Oh, I'm gonna get a toy. I love you, Uncle Kevin and Evan's dad. Look, I get that you like my mom, but I don't know how I feel about you guys dating. It's weird because you're Kevin and Evan's dad. I get what you're saying, and I really hope that one day I can change your opinion. I don't want you to marry my aunt because then I have to call you uncle, and that's too hard to remember. But boys, remember, I'm rich. I'll buy you anything. Well, you can't just buy our love. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Well, I was gonna buy you these things, but I guess I don't need to now. Wait, actually, I think I can learn to appreciate you as my stepdad. I'll call you uncle any day of the week, even Saturday. Ha <laughs> ha, I knew you boys would start to like me. Now I wonder how your mom is doing with my kids. What the heck? The $5 foot long isn't $5 anymore? That's all right, ma'am. Maybe you could make us a peanut butter and jelly back at your house. Ew! I don't want peanut butter and jelly made by her. She's disgusting and she's cheap. Dad could get any girl he wants. I don't know why he said it on you. <sighs> I don't know if I can do this.